you guys have been patiently waiting for these. Here are my C3 predictions for the LXL 2017 exams. So you know that I am just a teacher, I'm not an examiner, I do not have any insider knowledge, I do not know exactly what's going to be on the exams. I've just looked at the past papers, I've just looked at the specification, I've just looked at the examiner's reports, and these are educated guesses towards what I think is going to be on the exams. But do not skip anything out of your revision, make sure you cover absolutely everything. Now, I am very upset with the new specification because organic chemistry is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite things ever, and there's not a lot of it on the new specification. And there wasn't a lot of it on last year's exam paper either. And these two things combined suggest to me that this year's paper might be quite heavy in organic chemistry, especially the drawing of it. Because um, this is a skill that catches even, like, even I draw the wrong number of bonds sometimes. It catches people out. Knowing the uses and the dangers and the problems with all of the little bits to do with organic chemistry is really important because they could combine these to to make one big big section of the question or one of the big questions on the paper. Last year's paper started off with water and this suggests to me since last year they asked lots of easy little questions on water that this year they're going to ask longer harder questions maybe put it towards the end of the paper. So we're thinking ethics questions here um, we're thinking about our impact on the environment. Loads and loads of six mark questions can come out of this topic. Also in last year's paper, there wasn't a lot on ammonia. Um, now this is a really, really good topic. This is a really, really interesting topic. It comes up a lot in A-level. So there wasn't a lot on last year's paper. So this might be another topic that they focus a lot on on this year's paper. This could be one of the harder topics. So equilibrium could be one of the harder topics. But it doesn't necessarily have to be about an equation that you're familiar with. They could give you an unfamiliar um, situation, one that you haven't studied in class, and ask you to apply the principles of equilibrium, the ones that you've studied with ammonia, to that reaction. That could be where some of the harder questions come in. The other place you're likely to see hard questions is going to be your testing for stuff. So you're testing for positive and you're testing for negative ions. And the reason I think this might be one of the harder questions is because it involves the application of logic. It's highly unlikely to be, what is the test for this? It's much more likely to be, so-and-so found a powder, this is, these are the things that they tested, what is the powder? And you've got to combine your test for positive ions, your test for negative ions, your formulas of ionic compounds, potentially even balancing equations in that. So there is loads and loads of things they can drag into that and that could be one of the tricky, tricky questions on this year's paper. We know maths is a big part of C3 and last year the big maths question was on titration. Now it doesn't mean they're not going to ask you a titration maths question in this year's paper doesn't mean that so don't skip over that being your revision it just means that's ever so slightly more likely to ask you something different so think about gas volume some of the other harder calculations that you've been doing in c3 and we know because it happens every single year that's turning word equations into similar equations balancing equations is always really really big in this exam so because this is a tricky skill it involves so many different things words remembering formulas ionic formulas and then finally balancing equations i've just done a little tiny little booklet for you over on my website to help you with everything for this not only balancing full equations but balancing half equations as well so electrolysis they might and bring in loads and loads of stuff about electrolysis, so you have to know how to balance full equations and balance your half equations. Um, electrolysis is a great topic if it comes up because it's one of the ones that they don't teach you too many examples, so you can go and learn stock answers for it. So I think this year's paper is going to be um, very skills based, that's tending towards the new specification, so experimental questions, questions where you're going to have to apply logic, 
questions where you're going to need to think like a scientist, problem solving questions. And I've mentioned previously like tests for ions that could come in, thinking like a scientist that could be applied to water, logic questions and problem solving questions that could be applied to the ammonia. So there are so many different ways they can ask it, but I just have a little bit of a feeling that one of the six mark questions this year is going to be um, not so much content based, but a skills based question. So when we're thinking about the longer six mark questions this year, um, like I said, last year's math question was on titration. So this year's wordy question could be on how to carry out a titration or something similar to that, like how to carry out an experiment. So learn um, your procedure for carrying out titration and your procedure for carrying out electrolysis. And within that, learn all of the half equations. Are the two little topics that could come up as a six mark question or could just be completely ignored because these topics do tend to get ignored a little bit are hardening of oils and emulsifiers. Now, this is all part of the organic chemistry that I mentioned at the beginning. These are great topics, um, but they do tend to get slightly overlooked. So don't overlook them, go revise those ones. Please revise absolutely everything. Um, use all the past papers, use all the resources that are available for you. And good luck, guys.